Hey everyone, welcome to my workflow video for the 35mm portrait. I will be editing this picture of Harshita from the last video. So first off, I'm going to start by applying my elopement tones to the photo. And then once that's added, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and remove the chromatic aberration and enable the profile collection corrections from the 35mm lens. And then I think the photo is a little bit overexposed, so I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to lower the exposure by about eh, 0 0.35. And then that looks about right as far as the exposure levels for the photo. And because everything else as far as like the sliders and the curve tone are already adjusted and as well as the sharpening, I'm pretty much done with this little panel to the right hand side. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in and take a look at her skin. And she does have some imperfections because I tell my models not to wear any makeup. So what we're going to do is we're going to left click and then we're going to go to edit in and then select Adobe Photoshop. And we'll wait for that to load. And then it's going to open the photo in Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select Command J and I'm going to duplicate the background layer two times and we're going to name this first layer Low Frequency and then the second layer, the top layer, we're going to name it High Frequency and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn that off and then select Low Frequency, you're going to go to Filter up at the top and then we're going to select blur and then Gaussian blur and then we'll click OK once all the colors look as though they're blended we'll click OK And then we're going to turn back on the visibility of the high frequency layer, select it, and then we're going to go to image, apply image. And then for layer, you're going to select low frequency. The blending mode should be at add, and then you're going to invert the layer, so it should be gray with the outlining of everything that's in focus, basically, and then you're going to select OK. Once that's done, I'm going to change the blending mode to linear light. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to hide that layer and then select the low frequency layer. And then we're going to scoot over to the left hand side and we're going to choose the healing brush tool. And as I get my pen and tablet out, next thing I'm going to select a spot that is clear where I want the skin to resemble it and then I'm going to start gently brushing over the imperfected parts of her skin to make sure that the skin tones match. And then every now and then you'll see me sample a different area and go over the closest spot to that. Just like that. I'm just evening out her skin tone and reducing the look of the red spots and pimples. And then you'll be able to see here, this is before. And if you turn back on the high frequency layer, you can see how it's reduced the look of the red spots on her skin. So I'm going to continue and then basically we'll speed up this process here.
Okay, so now that I am close to finishing, I'm just finishing up these last few spots on her face. I'm going to even out her cheek right here. And then once I'm done, I'm going to zoom out and take an overall look of the photo. I'm going to turn back on the high frequency layer. That way I can see the final image. And then we'll zoom back in so you can see the texture still remains on her skin, which is what I like to see. I'm going to make sure that everything still looks very realistic. We just wanted to even out her skin tone and make sure we took away that color. So here's a before and after. There's before. And then there's the after. So you can see it just really evens it out, takes away the bumps, and makes her skin almost appear to be flawless, but of course it's not perfect either. So now that I am done retouching this photo here in Photoshop, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say File, and then Save It. That way I can go back into Lightroom once it's done saving. And then I'll be able to export using all of my preset export settings there in Lightroom. So we'll hop back over to Lightroom really quickly. And then you'll see the final image pop up. And then we'll zoom in and you can see how all the edits are done. It's just basically transferred back over to Lightroom. So I'm going to go to File and Save. We'll export. We're going to export this photo. And I'm going to first export a social size in her folder. And I'm going to scroll down. The quality is at 80% and the resolution is 100. That way it's a small file and I'm able to easily upload it into my gallery system and then to my phone. And then we'll export again. This time we're going to export a high resolution photo. So I'm going to go to the other folder, the other folder and then we'll scroll down. And then I'm going to change the resolution to 300. And then we'll scroll back up and change the quality to 100. And then we'll press export. And then that'll export it. And then that's pretty much it. That is my workflow of the 35 millimeter. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below and remember to give it a thumbs up. Thanks guys.